Iran's Khomeini urges Muslim nations to unite against the United States, according to State TV from Reuters.com. Now, part of what we see in the progress of humanity involves the fact that technology is distributed faster and faster with each iteration. And I love making this comparison because it's so easy and it's such an important point. You can compare the invention of the printing press and the distribution of books. You know, printing press was invented and it took hundreds of years, depending on how you want to count, for books to become an ubiquitous part of the human experience that everybody pretty much has access to as much as they want to read, you know. Whereas the automobile, obviously, traveled around the world a lot faster, being invented roughly 100 years ago. The cell phone, being invented just a few decades ago, has been distributed even faster than that. And part of the effect of this is a globalization of access to technology. Now, if you want to play the game of American exceptionalism and say, if you weren't born within these arbitrary lines, if the government hasn't deemed you a favorite citizen of the empire, sure, this is a terrible thing. But if you care about the human family as a whole, if you see human progress as something that doesn't happen country by country, but individual by individual on behalf of and for the benefit of the entire species, then you understand that the balancing of power is a good thing. The elevating of those who have been less advantaged by technology in the sort of guns, germs, and steel sense. So when I see a story like this, yes, the, the American in me goes, oh my gosh, the, um, America's losing its power to, to the Muslims. Oh my gosh, the Muzis are taking over the world. But I, I first have to separate the government that is America from the actual country and people who are America. Because if you care about the American people, you should celebrate the weakening of the American government. If you care about freedom for the world, you should care about the weakening of the American empire. And I see this as just another beautiful sign of this evolution of humanity. Iran's supreme leader called on Muslim nations to unite against the United States, saying Tehran would never yield to bullying, state television reported on Thursday. The Iranian nation has successfully resisted bullying attempts by America and other arrogant powers, and we will continue to resist. All Muslim nations should stand united against America and other enemies, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei said. Now, I'm, I'm certainly not defending Iran's government, which is silly on so many levels. I'm just seeing, as I said, a certain rebalancing of power. Iran's top authority criticized Trump for saying on Tuesday some countries in the Middle East wouldn't last a week <laughs> without U.S. protection. Now, again, the propaganda here and the assumption from Reuters should come as no surprise, but that countries in the Middle East wouldn't last a week without U.S. protection. And yes, I know that's uh, the, the part that's in quotes from Trump is wouldn't last a week. Some countries, not countries, the governments, their governments wouldn't last a week because they are satellites of the American empire. Now, Khomeini said, such remarks are humiliation for Muslims. Unfortunately, there is war in our region between Muslim countries. The backward governments of some Muslim countries are fighting with other countries. And the sad thing about that is that a lot of it is due to Western influence. Iran and Saudi Arabia have long been locked in a proxy war competing for regional supremacy from Iraq to Syria and Lebanon to Yemen. And of course, manipulating the American military in Iraq and Afghanistan and Syria and Libya. And geez, I, I, I don't want to try to even give a comprehensive report of current American interventions in the Middle East. Clearly, there are greater forces at work here, but they are becoming limited and they are becoming at least balanced with what have historically been 
the lesser powers. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.